Hello and welcome to Database Management Systems. I'm Javita Christie and in this video I've brought to you some extra practice questions for relational algebra. These will help you to practice all the operations studied in the previous four videos which have been linked down below. So let's get started. I'll begin by explaining this database that I'm going to use in this video for all the questions that are included. So this contains four tables and this we're going to do slightly different, not the way the previous four videos were. I'm just going to explain to you these tables and the columns that they contain and there's no data given to you for these tables. So you just have to write the queries based on the table names and the column names given to you and the explanation of those columns given to you. So the four tables are person, frequent, eat, and serves. And the person table contains name, age, and gender columns, where name is the primary key. And you can see everywhere the underlined terms are the primary keys of the respective tables. Now the person relation tells you that there, uh, the name of the person, the age of the person, and the gender of the person. So for example, you might have somebody's name like Mary with age, for example, 35 and the gender female. So this is the type of data that's going to be stored in person. Next, you have the frequency table and this contains name and pizzeria. So here, name and pizzeria together form the primary key. And this table would contain the name of a person and the pizzeria that they often visit. For example, you might have the name Mary and the pizzeria Domino's. So this tells you that Mary, Mary often goes to Domino's. The next table is Eat, and it contains two columns name and pizza. So this tells you that this particular person eats this type of pizza. For example, you might have the name Mary and the pizza, which is probably pepperoni pizza. So this tells you that Mary eats pepperoni pizza. So this is what this table contains. And then finally, you have the serves table where pizzeria and pizza together form the primary key. And in this, you have the pizzeria, pizza, and the price. So this tells you that this particular pizzeria is serving this particular pizza, and it serves that at this particular price. So for example, you would have the pizzeria Domino's in this table serving a pepperoni pizza at a price of, say, $2. So that is what it looks like. So this is the database. And using this database, we're going to answer the queries that are there in the next couple of sections. So let's get started with the queries. The question says, find all pizzerias frequented by at least one person under the age of 18. Now, the first thing that we need to figure out is which tables to use. So let us see. It says pizzerias that are frequented. So we know that we need to provide the names of pizzerias. And pizzerias are present in the table frequent. And they are also present in the table serves. Then we read the query further. And it says that those should be frequented by at least one person under the age of 18 and how can you know that a person is under the age of 18 you can know that from the age column of the person table and now when you look at it you can see that the person table contains name and the frequency table contains pizzeria and name and the search table does not contain name but it contains pizzeria so Obviously, to answer this query, you require a natural join. And to take a natural join, you need some common column between two tables. So you cannot do a natural join between person and serves. 
So we have to do a natural join between person and frequency, which contain the same named column name. So let's see how the query looks like. You have two tables, person and frequency. From person, we are first finding all those rows that have all the people who are below 18. So we have specified the, the condition over here by writing age less than 18. So this is sigma select operation age less than 18 from persons. And once we've done that, then we are taking a natural join with frequent. What this does is keeps only those people under 18 who are going to some pizzeria because their names would be matching with the frequency table. Once you've done that, your data is almost ready, but you've been told that you only need to provide the, the names of the pizzerias. You don't have to provide everything. So that's why you are going to do by pizzeria so that only this particular column's information is retained and the rest of it is removed. So this is what this query looks like. Now let's go to the next question. It says, find the names of all females who eat either mushroom or pepperoni pizza or both. This query can be solved in two ways. One is using the union operation and another one is without using the union operation. I'm going to show you the one without union operation. And uh, remember that in relational algebra, the queries can be solved in multiple ways. So there are multiple correct answers. And as long as your query is logically correct, the answer is right. So you do not have to worry if your answer slightly differs than my answer. Now this is uh, the query that is asking you for all females. And if you want to get all females, you'd have to use the person table and the column called gender. Then it says that they should be eating either mushroom or pepperoni, pizza or both. This is the type of query that would require a union, but could be done without the union operation also, which is how I'm going to show you. Now eats is the table that would tell you that this person is eating this, this pizza. So you would require this table. And you can see that person and eats both contain the column name. And that's why you can take a natural join between the two. So let's see the answer. This is what the query looks like. Always start reading relational algebra queries from inside. So you can see that there is person table and each table and we've taken a natural join between the two. And after taking the natural join, we are applying the condition sigma where we are writing down gender equal to female. And the symbol that you see is and symbol. So gender equal to female and then there's a bracket and in the bracket there's a condition that says pizza equal to mushroom or pizza equal to pepperoni. This symbol is for or. And then finally we use the project operation to take out the names of the people because that's the only thing we require. It says find the names of the people. We do not want uh, everything, we just want the names. So we are writing by and names. Now there is, uh, people often make a mistake of writing pizza equal to mushroom and pizza equal to pepperoni. What that does is gives you back no data at all because when you write down pizza equal to mushroom and pizza equal to pepperoni, you are trying to say that you want such rows from the frequency table, uh, sorry, from the eats table where the pizza is mushroom and at the same time is pepperoni, which is not possible. You can have two different rows. One row might contain mushroom and second row might contain pepperoni, but you cannot have in the same row and same column, the values mushroom and pepperoni at the same time. And that's why this operation has to be or and not and. If you use and, it would be incorrect. So this is the correct query for this particular question. Now let's move to the next query. It says, find the names of all females who eat both mushroom and pepperoni pizza. This is very much like the previous query. 
but in the previous query we had mushroom or pepperoni or both and in this case they are saying that they should be eating mushroom as well as pepperoni pizza so for example if there was a person mary then there should be two entries of the person mary in the eats table saying that mary eats mushroom pizza and mary also eats pepperoni pizza and only then mary's name would be selected in the result so that's how this would look like and uh, like i said you might make that mistake of uh, simply changing the previous query and writing down and instead of or between mushroom and pepperoni but that's not how you can do it you can do this correctly by using an intersection operation and it can be done in this way we'll try to understand the query which is before the intersection symbol which is this one so first we take person and eats and we take a natural join between the two and we write down the conditions that gender should be female and pizza should be mushroom and then from there we fetch only the name column because that's what we require in the result so that is what we've done once we've done that we write a second query that is person natural join eats and there we change the sigma condition and write down gender equal to female and pizza equal to pepperoni and once we've done that we fetch only the names of the people from that query and once we've done that we take an intersection between these two queries what it does is it gives you the names of the people who are eating mushroom pizza and then it takes an intersection of these people with the females who eat pepperoni so this gives you the correct answer of all the females who eat mushroom as well as pepperoni pizza now let's go to the next question this says find all pizzerias that serve at least one pizza that amy eats for less than ten dollars so in this case first of all we need to find the person amy and to find that we could use the person table or frequency table or each table because all of them contain amy the next thing we need to find is that amy eats some pizza and that pizza is less than ten dollars so where can you know that amy is eating some particular pizza you can know that from the eats table and the price of this this pizza you can get from the serves table so we know that we need to use two tables the eats table and the serves table let's see what the query looks like this is what the query looks like you can have first of all the eats table where we are going to apply the sigma condition to find only those names and pizza pairs where the name is Amy so that's why name is equal to Amy and the second thing we're doing is using the sales table from which we are taking out only those rows where the price is less than 10 and then we're taking a natural join between the two so it would keep only those rows where the pizza column here is matching the pizza column here we can take this natural join because they have a common column between the two now afterwards we see in the query that we've been asked to only get the names of the pizzerias and that's why we are going to do pi pizzeria to get only this particular column from serves table so this is the answer to the question now let's go to the next question This says, find all pizzerias that are frequented by only females or only males. So first we need to find out which tables we are going to use. It says females and males, so obviously we require the gender from the person table. And then it says pizzerias that are frequented. So this, can, this information can be obtained from the frequency table. So that is available here. So the frequency table will give you the name of the person and the pizzeria frequented by that person and the person table will give you whether that person is a female or a male and so we require only two relations but the 
query is not as simple as that. It says pizzerias that are frequented only by females or only by males. So these would be uh, names of those places, those pizzerias where only females go or only males go. So there should not be, if, if it's frequented only by females, then there should not be a single male going there. So that's how that's that's the result that we want in this. And this can be solved in multiple ways, but I'm going to show you the solution using two minus operations and one uh, intersection. So we're going to use that, but you can use several ways to solve the same query. And if you have suggestions, you can write those in the comments and I'll let you know whether they are correct or not. So the answer to this query looks like this. It looks a little bit big, but it's very easy to understand. So first what we are doing is start looking from the first query. It says um, that from the person table, you are fetching only those people who have the gender equal to female. And once you get that, you're taking a natural join between that and frequent. And this is possible because both of them have a common column called name. Once I get this information, I'm uh, fetching from there only the pizzeria column because that's what we are supposed to provide as a result. And once we do this, I am subtracting from here, taking a set difference by writing another query in the same manner, but this time I'm just changing uh, and writing the gender as male instead of female, which was there in the previous query. So now the gender is equal to female sorry, male, and I'm getting all the pizzerias where males are going. Now, remember that this does not mean that these pizzerias fetched here are the pizzerias where only males are going. These pizzerias are pizzerias that are frequented by males, but that does not mean there are no females going there. But when I subtract it like this, then what happens? I'm subtracting the pizzerias frequented by males from the pizzerias frequented by females and this would leave me with the pizzerias frequented by females and then we are doing the second part of the query where we say we're doing the practically the same thing but we've just written male over here and female over here so this would provide me pizzerias that are frequented by only males and now you know what you need to do you simply need to take union between these two and taking a union between these two will mean you are taking a union between pizzerias frequented by only males from the first part and pizzerias frequented by only males from the second part so this is only females and this is only males and you are taking the union between the two and you get the pizzerias frequented by only females or only males. So this is the correct answer and there are several correct answers to this and if you if you think that you know another correct answer you can write that in the comments and I'll let you know if it is correct or not. Thank you for watching this video and see you in the next video.